Hi there, welcome to our ultimate pool table buyer's guide. I'm Andy and I'm going to guide you through what is probably one of the most fun purchases you're going to make in your lifetime, getting your very own pool table in your house to entertain your family and friends. So I'm going to take you through five key things for you to consider when choosing your pool table. First thing is, do you want it to be an English pool table or American? Second is, do you want it to be a pool table, so a standard sort of pub style or tournament style table or a pool dining table? Number three is what size is going to be best for the type of table you're buying and the amount of space you've got. Uh, fourth, then I'm going to take you through what you're going to have it to be made from, whether it's going to be solid wood or MDF and how to get the look you want for the room it's going to go in. And the fifth thing is to take you through the accessories that come with the table and the other things that you should consider to buy with it to make sure you make the most of what you've purchased. Okay, so the first thing to mention then is that this video covers slate bed pool tables, not MDF or wood bed. If you're after those, then please check out our other videos. Okay, so first decision is, do you want to go for English pool or American pool? English pool is generally bought, paid, played in pubs. They're on six foot or seven foot tables and you use a two inch uh, ball set to play that game. If you go for American, you tend to find those in bowling alleys, pool halls, and it uses two and a quarter inch size balls. So when deciding which table is gonna be best for you, Think about what table it is that you've normally been playing on. So if you've been playing on a pub table, then probably going for an English table is better. They're also smaller, they're either six foot or seven foot sizes, so they tend to fit in your room better. If you want to go for American, you might be playing those in a, in a bowling alley or at a pool hall, as I mentioned. And they're more fun to play on if you're not as skilled at the game. The ball is larger to strike when you're striking the cue ball, and also the pockets are larger, so it's easy to pop balls. So let's talk about the differences in the ball size first of all. So you've got a two inch ball here and a two and a quarter inch ball there. It doesn't sound like a lot, but when you actually compare the two sizes next to each other, you can see that the uh, American ball, two and a quarter inch, is an awful lot larger. So when you look at a two inch ball on an uh, English pool table, which is what this is, you can see when it's sat in the pocket, it looks like a normal kind of size. When you take the American ball and put that on an English table, it does look an awful lot larger. So there's quite a difference between the two games. So the next difference is in the type of cloth that's used. On an English table, it's a napped cloth, which means it's got a furry surface to it. It's directional, it goes from the bulk end of the table down to the black spot end, and you can feel it as you run your hand across it, that it goes one way and it feels rougher going across the other. An American cloth doesn't have any nap, it's a napless cloth, also known as speed cloth, and that's because it's an awful lot faster to play on. So while we're talking about cloths, it's worth us mentioning that you can get a logo printed on your cloth. This is Jack Daniels. Uh, we do all the Jack Daniels cloths for Europe. You could get a football crest on there. You could get a company logo on there for your own firm. Obviously, if it has got a copyright on it, you need to get the copyright owner's permission for us to be able to print that cloth for you. So one of the things to remember with an American table is that they can come either with a one-piece slate, like the Diamond Program you see here, or they can have a sectional slate, which comes in three pieces, like the Rassen table you see here. Now the Victory 2, which is what this is, has got a sectional slate, and the reason for that is because the slate is so thick, if you're gonna have an eight foot or nine foot version of it, it makes it extremely heavy, so it's much easier for people to sort of carry in the slates to be able to install. The thing to remember is if you do get a sectional slate table, you cannot move it. Once it's been installed, it has to stay where it is. You can't lift it up by the frame and try to move it yourself. A, it's too heavy, you'll hurt yourself. And B, the slates will shift and they'll never settle back flat and straight and be able to play on. So important point to remember if you're buying a sectional slate table. Okay, so second decision then is, do you want to go for a pool table or a pool dining table? So a pool table is a normal kind of pub style table like you see here. And when you see it in a pub, you'll see it where it's got the little window there where the balls go into as you pot them. It'll have a coin slot there. Or it might be one of the more recent ones that we also sell, which are contactless payment pool tables. The reason that the cabinet is this depth on a standard pool table is because you need to fit in the ball return mechanism to be able to get those there, to be able to put coins in and have somewhere for the coins to go. So that's where the cabinet is so deep. So if you're buying a table of this style for your home, 
you don't need to have the coin mechanism and the ball window on there. So you can buy a free play table and that's the most common tape type that we sell. And you'll see that it's just got a blank panel on the side there. There's no ball window. That's how it comes like that. When the ball, uh, cue ball is potted or the object balls are potted, they all just deliver to the end of the table for you to be able to re-rack them for the next game. But the actual playing surface on one of these tables, the, the actual slate bed, the cloth, the pockets, the rails, are exactly the same between a pool table and a pool dining table. You'll get the same playing experience between the two different types. Okay, so this is a pool dining table. The difference being that the cabinet depth on this is either 14 to 20 centimetres deep, meaning that you've got between 60 and 65 centimetres between the floor and underneath the cabinet. That means that you can either uh, use benches to sit at it or dining chairs so that you're able to use it as a dining table as well as a pool table. Okay, so here we are sat in dining mode. Uh, we've got the tops on here. You can see I'm sat at the bench and my knees sort of fit underneath the table comfortably here. I guess it depends how tall you are or how fat your thighs are, but I can sit at this comfortably. This particular one has got a three-piece dining top set up on it. Most common though is to have two pieces and they simply meet in the middle. They sit on the top of the table. There's no fixtures between the dining top and there. It simply uses gravity to just sit on top of the table and then that makes it into a dining table for you. So the key benefit for pool dining table is you're getting a proper quality slate bed pool table. So same playing surface, same cloth, same ball, same pocket, same cushion, same everything. Same playability as you get on a normal pub pool table, but it's also a dining table as well. So if you don't often use your dining room, you can get dual use out of it. You can have a beautiful dining table as you see here, but also you can play pool. It's just worth mentioning the other type of pool dining table that we do, and this is the rollover, and this literally just rolls over so that you can play pool like this, then you can roll it over, and you've got the dining top surface there to be able to dine at. Okay, so we've talked about whether you're going to choose English or American in terms of table type. Do you want to go for a pool table or a pool dining table? Let's talk about the size of table you're going to go for. Let's go through English pool first of all. They come in six foot and seven foot sizes. Seven foot is the, is the size of table that's used in tournaments. And those sizes you'll find most often in pubs, although some pubs do use six foot tables where they've got less space. The important thing to remember is that that seven foot size is referring to the end of the table to the other end of the table. The actual playing surface size on a seven foot table is actually six foot long by three foot wide. For an American table, those sizes can differ. They come in either seven foot, eight foot or nine foot, but it's worth checking the listing for each individual table to check to see what the playing surface size is for when you're measuring your room to see whether it will fit in the space you have. Okay, so it's time to get your measuring tape out now and work out whether the size of table you want will fit into the space that you've got. So first thing to do is to think about what cue size you're gonna use. They come in either 36, 48 or 57 inch sizes. The easy way to work it out is if you're going to use a four foot cue because it makes the mass a bit easier. So if you're going to go for a seven foot English table, we know that the playing surface is six foot by three foot. You take your four foot cue, you add that four foot one end, four foot the other end, six foot for your playing surface. You basically got 14 feet you need to have lengthwise. And then going across, you've got three foot of playing surface, four foot cue, four foot cue means you need to have 11 foot of space. So to fit in a seven foot table with a six foot by three foot playing surface with 48 inch cues means you need to have 14 foot by 11 foot in size. And that's the way that you measure it and work out if it will fit in the room that you've got. So for American tables, the same measuring principles apply. The thing to bear in mind is that a tournament table will generally be nine foot in size. So that's the size that they use in the top competitions like the Moscone Cup, World Cup of Pool, and so on. But we tend to find that most home customers that aren't serious players will tend to go for an eight foot or a seven foot size because they want to be able to play American pool with the larger size balls, but they just don't have the space in their house to fit in a full size nine foot table. Okay, so we're on to number four then. How do you want your table to look? What do you want it to be made out of? So let's explain to you what the differences are. At the lower price range, they're made out of MDF. So this block here is an MDF block and it has a laminate finish. So this is what the laminate looks like. That's glued to the MDF 
to make the table appear as it does. So that's black and that's probably our most popular finish for our sort of pool table style designs. If you want to get something which looks more like a piece of furniture, then you're on to solid wood, and you can see this range of solid wood tables we've got here. These are our signature luxury tables. They either come in solid oak, solid walnut, you can see there. We can even do it with the two types where you've got walnut and oak used on the same table. The benefit of that is that it just looks nice, so it's a better piece of furniture for you to keep for years to come. So the other type of construction is plywood. Now where does plywood come in? Well, it's, it's the actual body of the table is made from plywood, and you'd use this if you're using an outdoor table, so those need to be made from plywood. If you use MDF in that damp environment, the MDF can tend to swell from the moisture and it causes the laminate to become unstuck. So if you're gonna put your table in a damp shed or in a damp uh, garage, it could be a good idea to buy an outdoor table that's made out of plywood. The other use of plywood is in commercial grade tables at the higher end and they'll use plywood generally in American tables that will sell to places like uh, bowling alleys and the like. Okay, so the last type of finish to consider is if you wanted to have a high gloss paint finish. Now this is the signature Hawks, and this is done in a high gloss white. This uses a solid wood construction for the table, it actually uses beech. The reason we use beech for this type of table is because it can be polished to a very smooth surface onto which you can then coat 10 coats of paint. These are all polished down so that you end up with a really nice high gloss finish. The good thing as well is if you wanted to a particular color, we can match any row colour, so that gives you literally thousands of colours that you can choose from if you wanted to match it, so it's the same as your kitchen work surface for example, or cabinets, you can tell us that row colour and we can get that table painted for you in that specific colour. So if you choose to go for a solid wood table, this takes you up in the price brackets and really you're ending up in our luxury pool table range, it's generally about £2,000 and upwards. The benefit of going for that type of price on top of the fact that you're getting a solid wood table, for example, is that you then get a lifetime warranty. We offer a lifetime warranty with all of our luxury pool tables over £2,000. In terms of being able to step up to that price, we do also offer finance that is subject to acceptance, but you could split down to monthly payments without any deposit to be able to afford the table which you'd like to choose. Okay, so we're on to point five. Let's talk about accessories that come with your table and maybe some extra things you'd like to buy to go with it. So you get a set of reds and yellows, uh, balls will come. So this is mostly English pool tables. So you get a set of reds and yellows, you'll get chalk with it, and you'll get two cues. So generally, uh, with the seven foot table, you'll get a 57 inch cue, um, like this one, and that comes with a screw tip um, on there. And that's the standard pack that you'll get with it. So that means that when it arrives, you'll be able to set the table up yourself if you've just had the free delivery and be able to play a game. Now, if you'd like to have us install the table for you, then we do give you a bonus accessory pack and you'll get more things as a result. So in that pack, you'll get uh, a table cover, which is great for keeping dust off it or stopping the light, causing the cloth to fade over time. You get a wall mounted cue rack that holds six cues. You'll get a brush, which is important to keep the playing surface um, brushed all the time, keep dust and fluff off uh, the playing surface. You'll get a diamond, so if you want to be able to play um, American pool, so nine ball pool uh, with spots and stripes, then a diamond is an important thing to have. We'll also give you a DVD, which has got coaching from Gareth Potts and Carl Boys. They'll show you how to play the game and get the most out of the table you've just purchased. And we'll also give you some extra tips and some uh, spots to be able to mark the table out if you wanted to play snooker. So we talked about the standard parts you'll get with the table and what you can get free with it. Let's talk about what you can spend extra then. So you might want to upgrade your ball set or buy an extra set of balls and go for spots and stripes. Now this set we've got here are made by Aramith. Aramith is the Belgian ball manufacturer. They make the best balls on the market used in over 90% of the tournaments. They look really nice, they're very glossy, they play extremely well, so it's a good upgrade. Um, so spots and stripes will also enable you to be able to play nine ball pool, um, which is why you needed the diamond I referred to earlier. You might also want to be able to play snooker, so this is a standard set of snooker balls here. Again, these are Aramith, this is the upgraded uh, version. Gives you an opportunity to be able to play two games from the one table that you've purchased. Okay, so let's talk about cues then. So if you've bought a table that's up to about 1,500 pounds in price, 
it will have come from the manufacturer with just standard cues. So this, this type of cue here, which just has a screw tip. Now they're designed for being used in pubs and to take punishment, and if they get broken or stolen, it doesn't matter. But they just don't play very well, and it's that screw tip that makes the difference. An upgrade I'd definitely recommend to you would be to go for the Pool Pro Whirlwind cues. We sell thousands of these. It's an ash cue, so it's a better quality uh, wood construction. It comes with a brass ferrule and a glued on tip, so your ball contact when you're playing is vastly superior than when you use a screw tip, and you'll get a much better game. Alternatively, you might want to go up and purchase anything from all the cues that we've got on display here. We've got literally hundreds for sale in the showroom or on the website, and choose something even better. So a really fun addition could be getting table tennis tops. Now these are full size tables, so it's a full size table tennis table top. It's nine foot by five foot, so double check you've got enough space to be able to fit the tops in and have enough space to play around. And you're buying just the tops, they literally sit on top of your pool table. The underneath is backed with foam so it won't damage the surface of your cushion rail. They come supplied with a net, two bats and three balls. We sell it a couple of different models. Check out the details on our website for more info. So if you're buying a pool dining table, an excellent addition is a set of benches. The benefit of these is that when you want to play pool, you can just push the bench underneath the table. You don't have to take your dining chairs and try and put them somewhere else. They can come either in solid wood or in a painted finish or upholstered as you see here. Or you can get a bench that's actually got uh, storage built into it. So you literally lift up the lid, you can keep your cues in there, brush, extra sets of balls, chalk, whatever your accessory pack is. Okay, so if you're buying a pool dining table, you might, might like to consider getting a dining top storage caddy. These come on wheels and enable you to take the tops off the table to play a game of pool, slot them into the caddy and store them away. These two here are made by Montfort. This goes with our signature luxury range. Uh, it's a nice addition to be able to store away the tops safely when you're playing. Good quality lighting is essential to get a decent game of pool from your table. So we sell a range of lighting which you can buy to go with any table. You could get a matching set like this. We've got this diamond light that goes with the diamond tables, but you can choose anything that's going to fit the decor of your room. It's worth checking out our website for all the options that are available. It's important to have rest sticks available just in case you've got those hard to reach shots or you've got younger players. Quite often a younger player struggling to reach a shot will damage your cloth with his cue, so it's quite an important thing to think about. You can get ones with either a cross head like this or a spider head like that. Uh, there's a range available on our website. So I hope this video has been helpful. I know there's an awful lot of information to take in and a lot more decisions to make than maybe you first thought when you decided to buy a pool table. We're here to help, so if you need any assistance, you can call up and speak to our sales team, you can email them, you can chat to them on live chat, you can come visit us in the showroom here. We can give you all the help and advice that you need. As I say, check out the website, lots of information on there, and our YouTube channel as well. There's loads of videos that cover off more detail of a lot of the things that I've covered in this video. So thanks for watching, and look forward to catching up with you next time.